Hey. Hi, how are you? Pretty good. How about you? You're a new face around here. Yeah. Rolling in, I guess. Yeah. All right. Where are you from? Nowhere, really. Just uh, here and there. Here and there. A nomad. That kind. No, I mean I'm originally from Jersey. Uh, all right. Cousin from Jersey. Yeah, where? Uh, Central. Uh, you know, you know the Sandy Hook area, you know. Jersey Shore, yeah, area around there. Yeah. Jersey Shore. Yeah. Oh shit, my mother's from there. Yeah. Really? Where? Yeah. Ah, uh, she's from Wilmington, I think. I don't really remember. I've been there since I was a kid. Uh, hmm. uh, I don't really know the area. South Jersey for me. You know? All right. Mm -hmm. So, so you've already met Leonard. What's your name? Yeah. I'm back. Leonard's a regular here. Right. I've, been, I've been propping up his bar since, uh, what, the last 40 years? Before I was here, most definitely. You don't look 40. <laughs> yeah, I know that. Everyone says that, but... <laughs> yeah. All right. What do you do here for fun? Hmm? Other than drinking. <laughs> well, you know, I love talking to the customers. It's the kind of place that, you know, some people, it ages them quick. Some people, it slows down their aging, like old Leonard here. For me, it's probably the ages quick thing. <laughs> you ever gonna find out? You gonna stick around? Why not? All right, glad to hear it. Always love seeing new faces. What's your name? I didn't catch it. Goldstein. Noah Goldstein. Nice to meet you. So how'd you end up here? Well, my parents, they moved around a lot, and then eventually they decided that it wasn't good for my health to be, uh, to be moving from school to school, so they let me live with my aunt. She lives around here, so. I grew up here, and then eventually, you know, at 18, I started sneaking in here, and then decided to get a job here. You've been here so far? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I thought about moving, but I feel comfortable here. I feel welcome. Thanks for walking in me. Oh, it's my pleasure. No problem. Oh, shit. Oh, what's happening? It's my dad's birthday. Really? Yeah. Forgotten. Why don't you call him? I can't. He, uh, that's what I like. Good. Yeah. I'm sorry, man. That's, that's a total bummer. That's a rough night. It's alright, man. I mean, you get on by, drinking, women, you know, all on yards. Yeah, I've been there. You know, I see all kinds of here. People come to escape, and people trying to find their new ground. You know, trying to get back. Sometimes they escape here and come back in the same place. I don't know what it was last year. You know, sometimes setting a goal can be helpful. Sometimes it just blocks you off to what you really do need. I need beer. I need beer. <laughs> All right, come on right up, man. Here you go. I don't know. Anything else going on? You seem like you got some more on your mind. Hang on, yeah, I just got a phone call. All right, it's no problem. Oh, it's the wife. Come on, man, you've been screening your calls all week. Yeah, well, yeah, just... Hey, hi, honey. Look, look, I'm... I'm at the office. No, I... Look, look, I, I told you, I told you I'll be home at, like, 11. I may have to end up working later, though. What's his deal? Uh... Honey, hi, He's got honey. the most beautiful, sweet mom. But he is just... Something's got something just didn't click. All right. Something went wrong. We were happy for years, and then just something went wrong, and we just went south. Okay, love you, Jeff. Well, looks like I'm out. Yeah. You heading home? Have to. Yo, kiss your wife, man. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you again, Leonard. So what's your story, Noah? Well. Had a girl a little while ago, but she wanted to leave this town and I didn't. 
you know, I just, as much as I loved her, I loved this town a little bit more. Couldn't bring myself to leave it. What's so great about this town? I don't know. It's not that it's an amazing town, but the people, the pe I don't, the people aren't, again, the people aren't great people, but there's something that unites everyone here. Everyone knows each other, everyone really looks out for each other. Like this, I've never seen that. I've, like I said, I've drift here and there. And yeah. Never, I never had that. You don't really see it in the city as much. It's only in little towns like this. Don't get me wrong, I do like the city, but it doesn't get the same kind of brotherly love that you get in a little town like this. You don't get a lot of eye contact. Yeah, that's for sure. But then in the city, there's a few people that you don't really want to make eye contact with. So, what kind of people are those? You know, it's the business type. You can get the business type who just don't want to have anything to do with you. So, I'm the business type. Oh God, you're the business type. <sighs> I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean anything by that. Oh, it's fine. I get it. I get it. No, I really do. It's a stigma. No, it, it is. It is. It's, you get the suit and the tie and the you know, nine to five, whatever it is. You work, you sit there, you make money, you make other people unhappy, you try to make things right with people. And... I'm sure you don't always make people unhappy. I'm sure there's plenty of times when you make people happy. No, I really can't say. You know, the bartender isn't too different from you. There are some people. I provide my service, some people makes them happy, some people just brings them way down to the hole they're already in. I try my best, it's all I can do, it's my job, but it doesn't benefit anyone. So you and I are kind of the same. Very different in some ways, but when you get really down to it, we're the same. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a pleasure meeting you, Ben. You're welcome. Thank you for talking.